Hi, I'm Jin. I'm a glass artist who is working with 3D modeling skills. This is the first video of my series titled How to Draw Glass in 3D. The series is about how to utilize 3D rendering skills for designing glass with a program called Cinema 4D. In this first video, I'm going to show you how to draw simple solid objects and render them. Let's take a look at the Cinema 4D. When you open the program, this screen will pop up. Let me quickly go through the layout. Here is the viewport. This is where you create your object. On the top, there is a top menu. And under, tool icons. Those three are move, scale, and rotate. And those are axis, rendering tools, creating tools, modifying tools, camera, and light. On the right side, this is called object manager. On the bottom left, material manager. And this is a timeline for animation. By default, you will have a perspective view, which is a one big one here. But when you click the icons on the top right, you will see that the viewport toggle to four different views. First one, perspective, top, right, and front, so that you can observe your object from four different views. Don't panic by all those icons. We will go through them one by one. I think the best way to know the tool is actually to draw something. So let's draw some solid forms. If you see under the top menu, you will find the cube icon, which is called Primitive. Primitives are ready-made shapes that we can easily start to build our own shape. When you click and hold the icon, you will see another menu pops up, which is called the Flyouts. And then you can see there's more options in Primitives, such as Cube, Cone, Cylinder, and Spheres. Let's go back to cube and click. Instantly, it appears on your viewport. You can see four different views of your object. When you want to have a closer look, you can click the icons on the top right corner of the viewport. Then it toggles to one full view. When you click it again, it turns back to four views. Now, let's check the object manager on the right. You can see your object, cube is in the list. In the bottom right, you can see the information about your object, such as size and segments. The size of the box is now 200 by 200 by 200 centimeter, but this is a relative form, so it doesn't mean that it's going to be really 200 centimeter. You can simply punch the number here to change the size of your object. All right, now I'm going to render the cube. In order to have a better view, I'm going to toggle the perspective view bigger. And then to render, you simply click the clapperboard icon here. And ta-da! Here's the cube. However, my cube looks too dark, so I'm going to add some lights. In order to add some lights, you go to the light icon under the top menu here. And then simply click it. And then on the right side in the object manager, you can see that I just create the light. I'm going to click it again to make another one. But somehow my box looks a little darker, even darker looking. And then whoops, it's completely gone. The reason why is your lights were created inside of the cube. So what we have to do is we actually have to take the lights out, out of the cube. In order to do so, go to the object manager and then click the lights to make sure it's activated. And then go to the left side and then click the move icon. After you click the move button, you will find out there's a three arrows, red, blue, and green. Click and drag one of the arrows and then you'll find out your light is moving alongside of those axes. 
if you drag the green one it goes up same thing with the blue one so now my light is outside the box and it lit the right side of my cube I will do the same thing with the light one so go to the manager click it and then this time I'm gonna move it to the left side of the cube and then let it upper and then now I feel like my light is well positioned all right let's try to render it to see how it looks like so go to the clapperboard icon and click okay now it looks a little brighter but still it looks like a paper to me so I would like to apply some textures glossy textures on it to do so you go down here which is we call the material manager and then click the create and hold and then you can see there's the other menu pops up the first one is new material there's a ball icon created click it and then it will show you the information this is just like very basic material this can be a starting point of creating your own texture you can change the color of the textures and you can apply some transparency reflections and all kind of stuff so I can say that this is hours of fun to create your own texture but just for now we're gonna use the preset so go back to the create and then on the bottom here you can see that there's a load material preset when you look at them you can find out there's a ready-made uh, materials for you so go to light materials and then you see there's a glass and then I'm gonna pick glass simple white and then you will find out there's a glossy icon appears down here and then in order to apply it to your object you actually have to click and drag to your object and then you will find out there's a small no icon there but once you get inside of your object it turns to square with a plus sign and then you let go of your mouse and then you find out your box gets a little dimmer and on the right side the object manager you can see there's a small icon appears right next to your cube which means the glass texture is applied to your cube so let's render it to test it Ta -da! so the cube doesn't look like a paper anymore but I have to admit that it doesn't really look like a glass just because the cube is solid and then there's no other object to reflect the light I'm gonna cover how to improve the quality of the glass later with the texture lesson all right let's go over the whole process again this time we'll go a little quicker so I'm gonna toggle the view to the four view first and then I'm gonna make shape in order to make a shape solid shape you have to go to the primitive and then click and hold and then fly out pops up this time I'm gonna draw a sphere so I point it and let go of my mouse and then you will see that my sphere is right in the middle but now my sphere is inside of the cube so I want to move it out in order to do so go to the move button make sure it's highlighted and then drag one of the arrow this time I'm gonna drag the red one hold and drag and your spear will come out and then let go let's try to render it in order to render I highlight the perspective view and then go to up there clapperboard icon and then click and you can see that Ta -da! now we have uh, two shapes and now I'm gonna apply some textures on my sphere go down to material manager click the create and then this time same thing load material preset light materials glass this time I'm gonna click the glass simple green and then I let go and then my glass simple green icon appears on here but that doesn't mean that my sphere is green glass right now you actually have to apply it so I click and drag the icon all the way up to the sphere until I see the plus icon appears and then I let go 
instantly you will see on the right side object manager you see that same green glass icon appears right next to my sphere which means the texture is applied all right let's find out go to the perspective highlight it go up to the render click Ta -da! so now this one is more looks like a glass and then you can see there's a tiny reflection appears on my first object let's toggle the view to see it clearly so i make it big and then go up and then i render that's it this is how we draw a simple solid object so this is our first glass object drawn in Cinema 4D. How cool is that? I think the fastest way to learn graphic program is that you push every button and then see what happens. So I encourage you to go to the primitives and click each icon to see what happens. Like cube, cones, cylinders. Oh, this is my favorite figures and apply some textures from the library and render. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to draw blown foam like a wine glass or vase. This will be more related to what we can blow in a hot shop. Thanks for watching and then have fun with primitives.